Here he is. A nice big warm welcome for Mr. Warmth, Mr. Don Rickles. Don. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Don, for being here. I, I'm truly a fan. I love uh, what you do. And, uh, and what is it that you do exactly? Well, uh, <laughs> to be very honest, uh, I come over here. I happen to be standing on the boulevard and a guy grabbed me and said, come on in a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> There's some guy that's on at 10 in the morning in Iowa, 3 in the afternoon in Duluth, <laughs> and 7.30 in Yokohama. So I said, I'll, I'll kill a half hour. <laughs> Now, since this is our show about Big Break, do you remember your first Big Break? This. <laughs> this is what did it for me. I've been on a lot of shows, Will, and I've seen a lot of sets. Chip in. <laughs> this, is, this is Mickey Mouse cardboard you have here. Lean back in the chair, I can get a drill job. <laughs> My first Big Break, I, I you know, I... I had a lot of opportunities in my career. You know, you, you guys came out of college in Indiana with a harmonica and you got hot, you know. And <laughs> your father, rest his soul, left you a great heritage and unfortunately you didn't pick it up. <laughs> but uh, I came from nowhere. I started in uh, a lot of joints, as they say in those days, there were no improvs and it was tough. But my biggest opportunity, I think, came in, uh, in uh, Florida. It first started in a place called Murray Franklin's. And a guy called Murray Franklin gave me a big break there and people started to come and see me. And then uh, I came to California with a lot of stops in between. I don't want to tell you my whole life story because the crowd will get emotional. And, <laughs> and, and, and the sets would be changing. And I heard some of the jokes you used, so why compete with a real funny guy? <laughs> I love the senior citizens in the front. <laughs> no napping. <laughs> Two of the ladies were nodding off during this one. <laughs> Oh, God bless you, ladies. Good to see you. And the other woman's seeing if she got rolled. <laughs> but now, wait, no, you went on. Wasn't the Tonight Show a big, a big break for you at some point? Yeah, I, I, I gave Carson a shot in the arm, and uh, <laughs> no, Johnny was very influential in helping me. At some 25 years ago, I went on his show in New York, and uh, he had seen me in a place called the Elegant, where I started in Brooklyn, and uh, his people uh, had me on the show. And from there, I, <laughs> I just became very, very big. And now, as <laughs> As things slow down, I'm here. <laughs> Fighting to get back on top. No, but the Carson show has been a, was a great influence, a great help to me. Where did you develop, though, the, the style that you used? The, the uh, what would you call it? Meeting guys like you. Uh -huh. Guys that annoyed me, you know what I mean? People with your kind of personality, Midwest, Wonder Bread, you know, with bologna, you know. Just sitting around in the living room in your underwear saying to the wife, why not? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but the, I, I, I got that style talking to the audience. I really didn't have an act. I used to do like that young man at the beginning of the show. You know, I used to do, he, I, he did Ethel Merman badly. <laughs> but uh, I did Clark Gable and uh, uh, Barry Fitzgerald and all these different people. And, and I told bad jokes. I could never tell a joke. And suddenly I started to talk to the audience. And from there, things started to get better. It was dangerous <laughs> in those days. But, and I made fun of people and what their backgrounds were. And, I used to have a fast bike, Red Cross, and my mother outside saying, he's a wonderful boy. <laughs> uh, the, all the audience keeps looking up. Is there a bird loose in here? Oh, they're looking at the monitors. I, I didn't know that. I, I said, the whole audience is like this. I, I thought we were at an airport and I'm Lindbergh. <laughs> but, uh, what, well, what advice would you have for a young comedian wanting to get I get a good break? job, a good day job in a store. <laughs> Forget about it. I think you know that, Will, with your success, too, of being a young man in the business and very successful. I think the, the best advice is you have to really be dedicated. That was people... very sincere. Yes, it was. <laughs> now we'll get back to honesty. You stick. <laughs> I like that. I'll tell you what you like. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's no voting, Will. Just listen to what I say, okay? <laughs> Read the notes and find out who I am and why I'm here. <laughs> And then tell me why I did it. <laughs> but I must say, uh, I, I think you got to be very dedicated. You have to believe. And, and I think, uh, as Milton Berle always used to say when I, he was my idol when I was a kid, I, he always said to me, and I think that's so true, you have to be uh, an individual in the sense that have a complete style of your own. Don't copy anybody. Just be yourself and do something different than the next guy. And I think you got a very good chance. Yeah, so setting yourself apart. 
helps I think make so. It. I think if you're just another guy that tells a joke, you know, like anybody else, you're in a rat race. But if you're different, as you, you know, you're different. <laughs> We'll take a break and continue our show on the big break with more of Don Rickles and a whole lot more show right after this. Come on back. We're talking with Don Rickles. And, uh, now, besides being a fine comedian, you're a fine actor. You graduated from the, uh, what, the... American Academy of Dramatic Arts with uh, some of the biggies, uh, Ann Bancroft, Grace Kelly, Jason Robots, a list of them. And all of them, when they hear my name, they go... <laughs> <laughs> But I, I enjoyed when you were in Kelly's Heroes and Run yeah, Silent. Yeah, Clint Run. Eastwood. It was, it was great working with Clint. That's like being alone. <laughs> <laughs> Clint's a great guy, but his idea of fun is a can of beer and a pickup truck and watching his dog get sick. <laughs> 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 and Tully Savalas in those days was single and was in constant heat with a cape. <laughs> and, uh, he was running around. Yeah, and, and Donald Sutherland. And we were there for six months in Yugoslavia. Have you ever been to Yugoslavia? No. Well... <laughs> they should have bombed it. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, in those days it was very difficult. The location, you know, out in the woods and so forth. And Clint loved that. I'm used to marble toilets and all these other guys. You know, <laughs> give them a barrel and a sign and they're happy, you know. Now, will you ever go back and, and act some more? Sure I will, but <laughs> studios haven't been over the house too often. <laughs> but, no, it, the, the very difficult part is to get the right part and to do the right situation. You know, just to act. When you're a working comedian, you're, naturally, that's, that's my main forte, and I love acting, but if the right part came, I would, uh, I would jump at it. And yeah. So far, you know, I, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, I fool with the wife a little bit, you know. <laughs> She said, do you have a minute? I'm not shining the jewelry. Come over here. <laughs> now, what's it like around your house? How do, you, how do your kids react to you? Do you give them a hard time all the time? No, no. My kids are usually at, uh, pulling bank holdups. <laughs> <laughs> now, my daughter goes to USC. My son's going to be a director. They're very, very happy. They once in a while say hello to me in the house, but they're, <laughs> they're just the average kind of kids. Nothing special. My wife's kind of special. You know, she's the, you know, the real, you know, I said, gee, I had a great opening, and she said, is an not exciting? <laughs> I mean, you throw dirt on her and she'll refuse to die. She will not. Die. Just a quiet, layback woman. On the wedding night, she just went, is that about it? <laughs> That's the kind of girl she is. Uh, do you find, are you a romantic? I mean, at home? Yeah, you... yeah. I usually sit in my bathrobe in the living room and she'll go, <laughs> And she goes, isn't that romantic? But she wears a sleek nightgown. No, she's a very layback lady. Very uh, unshow business like And yet... Uh, my picture agent, Jack Gilardi, uh, she worked for him for six years. That's how I met her. I came to the office. This is true. I, at that time, it was GAC. And I came to the office, and I said, I'd like to see Mr. Gilardi. And she said, what is it in regard to? I said, I want to sell meat. I'm a butcher. <laughs> <laughs> and she did what you did. <laughs> <laughs> then I had a romancer and kisser, you know what, for about six months. And then I went to Philadelphia to see her house, and it was two stories. And I leaned over to my mother, as the soul, and said, I think we fell into money. <laughs> And I found out she was poverty-stricken and worked the Navy Yard <laughs> with the fleet. <laughs> but you, were, you, were, you're 30, you weren't married till you were 38 years 38 old. 38 years old. I used to lock myself in the bathroom and hum a lot. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> now, you, now they know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I was 38. Well, I went out with a lot of girls. So Tunya and a snake. Uh, <laughs> Sally and her bird, the Weezer and the Scorpion, you know, and those guys worked in strip joints many, many years ago. And those are the kind of people I met, you know, and I always, I always fell in love with a singer. If I worked with a singer, a girl singer, I always immediately, boom, that was it for me. So when I met my wife, I said, do you sing, hum, or dance? She said, no. I said, definitely we'll be married. <laughs> uh, of course, I don't need no time. And I don't get up in the morning and think of showbiz like some guys get up in the morning, you know, and it's all show business. I don't. I, I get up in the morning and say, I'm up. <laughs> Just look around and I have a big estate with hunting dogs. <laughs> uh -huh. Takes a lot of years. You won't have it with this show. I'm going to show you. <laughs> We're talking about big breaks. A lot of uh, wonderful people like Mr. Rickles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be nice to this guy. I don't want him to get on in. I know he's, being, he's sitting there quietly behaving the, himself. The way you talk, I wouldn't stop with you. <laughs> And, except uh, when Don was on. Except when Don was on the other time. Yeah. <laughs> except when Don was on. <laughs> Pass him down till somebody gets him. Yeah, yeah. That was Don when Don sang, I've been away from you a long time. Remember that? Yeah. I'm sorry, honey, honey. Hey! I want to be a jazz singer. Gosh, why don't sing it? Get up, Al, it's over. I want to be a jazz singer. <laughs> I'd get on with it, huh, Bill? I'm sorry. <laughs> as long as
Well, I get take carried home, away. We got to sit here, and he and I are going bad on this couch. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of homie going on around here. This couch. Call the board of health. There's something coming out. <laughs> So, anyway, this is a scene. Oh, wait, that's the movie you watch about three in the morning. You know, that's the, the one. When yeah. the wife's in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> now, because what you, you want to see Leslie yeah. Ann Warren. Leslie Ann Warren? And what do you play in this? I play a, Leslie a, Ann a, I play Leslie Ann Warren. <laughs> <laughs> Quite well, in fact. <laughs> she, I play a drunken, dope addict country singer who's uh, probably an expert. <laughs> Shut up, Rickles. <laughs> You're lying, you bum. That's your life. That's your life. <laughs> It's my scam. Come on. You like you gave us that. You don't touch it, and all your. I play a drunk and an alcoholic, and I'm, I'm sniffing dope, and wow, what a movie! What a happy. You know, it's one of those things. Never let it end. So tell us what we're going to see in this Snap scene. Snap out of it. <laughs> I guess luck plays a lot into it. I guess in, in your case, Don, luck was a, was a big factor. No, it wasn't luck. <laughs> I worked darn hard to get where I am. I resent that. The hell's the matter with you, luck? It wasn't luck. I always had talent. Nobody ever watched. What do you know about it? You gave me that my nerves. I didn't want to be on this show. Now it's luck. and this kid just made it overnight and I'm at the end of a couch I'm a big name and it's not even clean and you're telling me it's luck here's your luck and the crew's looking around going what, what, what happened I don't need this it wasn't luck it was hard work I skyrocketed with hard work not like him in the Holiday Inn and I'm gonna tell those people you don't like their place I met a lot of broads in the Holiday Inn there's nothing wrong with it I heard it well I was great I used to just stand by the door and say now what do I do anyway uh, but you, but you had it, you know, you've had... But you, but you, but you, but <laughs> I know I'm a Jew, you don't have to remind me. <laughs> but you I said a... I'm a Jew, and three guys went, is that one of them over there? <laughs> anyway. Uh... But you've had your ups, you've had your downs, how do you deal with those... That's a those... very clever statement. You've had your ups, you've had your downs, you've had your ups, what am I, a merry-go-round? Of course I have my ups and downs. But how I... do you deal with the down times? <laughs> I go on shows like this to get myself up. <laughs> When I'm down, I get in the room, turn on the gas, and leave a note for the wife. Find me fast. So this show's going to turn it around for you, I predict. It better, Will. Otherwise, you're going to look funny back in Indiana swallowing a harmonica. <laughs> All right. Because this show is a bomb. I'm a friend. This show isn't going to make it. The whole crew keeps saying, Will's dynamite. I was backstage and heard the real whispers. How is he going to stay on? I'm a friend. <laughs> With the funny glasses and the Wonder Bread face. Nobody knows what you are. You're not Italian, you're not Jewish, you're not Irish, you're nothing. You must take a bath and the water runs up. You're nothing. Billy's being nice, and Don, Don, snap out of it. Don, don't believe he's got on his show. He was just hanging around in the street going, hey, who took my car? You're you kidding? I hung around with Boom Boom Mancini a lot of years. And he's an actor, so you know that I have a skyrocketing chance. No, you'll be great. You ought to do Hamlet. <laughs> you know, I tried to do. I tried to help a friend of mine out with, uh, with one of them uh, Shakespeare plays, The Merchant of Venice. Yeah, yeah. And I called the girl. Uh, Portia. I didn't know the name was supposed to be Portia. <laughs> and uh, I realized that them, uh, them Shakespeare words just don't fit real well in my mouth. You know? yeah. But uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe try Hamlet one yeah. day. Yeah, you better off us stealing first. Now let's get my next guest out here. Who's yeah, bring the kid out. She's getting shorter. Wait, get back. And, oh, don't and, say that. The, the, and, oh, sorry. Uh oh, now Don's onto this. Uh -oh. We have the same manager. <laughs> All fits in the place. <laughs> Supposed to be. <laughs> so that is sensible. <laughs> you know Bud Robinson. Now, isn't management important to your career, Don? <laughs> Not in this case. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is called Hot Chili. Yeah, Bud Robinson. <laughs> That's a Bud Robinson kind of job. <laughs> So, is this one of those movies? That, you didn't need quarters to see this movie. Did no, you? it's on videotape. It's on video, I know it's that. A, yeah. It's, a, it's a, a, a what? An exploitation type? No, movie? it's not an exploitation. Was there type nudity thing. involved a, in this movie? Did you did you grab her or anything? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What happened? That, that, he's, <laughs> hey, he's humping over here. Look at that! My legs, my legs going up. That's what they wanted me to do. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. It's, a, it's, a, it's one of those movies. Look, it's happening on my leg. And he was Jason! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
you shot hey, it. Go ahead. <laughs> That's your fun, Alan. God bless. <laughs> no, I, I, I personally have a... like moose. <laughs>